Hey everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at um, sort of fancier gate frames or perimeter fences for your base. So, <clears throat> one thing we definitely, without, without, you know, goes without saying that the most efficient way to build your perimeter fence would be simply, you know, the stone gate uh, with the gate frame. But, um, the servers I play on, I like to, uh, you know, add things to be a little bit more fancy. So we've got a few examples along my base walls here. And uh, I differ the build depending on whether I'm on level ground um, or there's a bit of a slope on the go. Um, so let's just get right into it. Don't forget though, if you enjoy the video, to like, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. If you want to play on our servers, in the comments section you'll find links to add me as a friend on Steam. You're more than welcome to join. Uh, we play on a five map cluster with a mix of PvE maps and PvP maps and ORP maps and modded and this, that and the other thing. So let's get right to it, folks. <clears throat> First step, of course, uh, just to go over a couple quick buttons that I always use when building. Uh, your Q button will uh, move the item to another snap point. Your E button is going to flip the item on its existing snap point. Your G button is going to unsnap or snap. So if we have a, a, a wall place like this um, with the vanilla walls, they'll just snap right to it. If I press G, well with S plus anyways. If you press G, that should unsnap. Um, it works in most cases. The gates are a little funky about it. Um, but, you know, just depends on the day sometimes. In general, though, uh, most things will snap or unsnap. For today's uh, <coughs> today's show, we're going to be using vanilla parts. That way it's a little bit more for everybody. If you have S plus, uh, obviously there's a lot more you can do, but you're still following the same basics that I'm showing you now. If you have clipping on your server, um, where you can clip into things, which used to be exclusive sort of to S+, Plus, but now it's kind of available as a basic setting on all ARC servers. So if you talk to your admin, he might be able to get that for you. But the clipping is definitely something that allows us to do a lot more exciting stuff. So let's get started here. The first thing we need to do, of course, is place our gates. So let's just take a look at that. And we'll place a whole bunch down here and then do a little bit of a different example. Now here's where my K button comes in handy. Let's say I had quite a few gates to place. We could just hit that K button. This will keep us moving in a nice, easy direction. We can just whip for miles like this. And after a while, you can actually get pretty fast at it. I should let you guys know that before I do build bu big building projects, I like to take a mind wipe. I put everything into weight. Um, and this way I can move things around. Bear in mind, unless you have unlimited respects or unlimited mind wipes on your server, you'll only be able to use about one of those per level. So you want to make sure that when you use one, you're right close to leveling up. So now you see we placed uh, some fence foundations in here, and we notice right away those aren't level. So for me, that's going to have a different design than two that line up perfectly. Those are pretty close, so we'll get to see our examples. So we're going to just whip down here and place these all through. Now you can imagine that if you're doing it with this style, of course, it's going to take more time, uh, more materials. Like I mentioned, it's not the most efficient way, but it certainly does look a lot better. So here's where we're going to see the first use of our E button. I'm going to presume that these are the outside of the walls, um, and I'm going to want stone on the outside. Bear in mind, if you had an S+, plus, you wouldn't have that wood framing. So even when you got S+, plus, sometimes just for style, uh, you might want to use, uh, use some of your original parts, vanilla parts. So we're using the E button here, and look, that's a miss punch, right? <laughs> and the other advantage to S plus, of course, is you can go ahead and pick that piece up. I'm going to keep forgetting which way I'm supposed to be placing it. There we go. So, now the rest of the pieces will place without requiring an E button. They're just stacking on top. I'll just go like maybe a little bit of this. And to finish it off, I'm going to put some grills at the top. Now, uh, you see, it's not a level... See how we got, it's just a little bit off to me. So that's something I would maybe reconsider um, and just leave the grill on one side. And then you don't notice that, uh, that sloped ground so much. So when we have it real nice and flat like this, uh, one thing I like to do, which can look pretty cool, let's get some slopes up there. Um, get a little glare. And I actually like the other way. For me, it's going to look a little bit like this. Boom. And then you have that kind of open sloped concept. And we could go up a little higher with it. Still look kind of cool. 
Oh, yeah, see, there we go. You got your little diamond top. And you can, you know, use your wood if, you, if you're if you with scorched earth or clustered. Adobe mixes in real nice with that. I generally stick with stone as the minimum on the bottom just to keep the majority of those AI dinos out. And, uh, you know, obviously, guys, if you're on a PvP hardcore type server, uh, none of this applies. I mean, pretty much just metal. You know? You're not going to want to have this long term. You know, we'll put up a window frame in here. That glare is kind of annoying. Just the way it is on the arc. You can't count on weather all the time, can you? Just goes either way. We got a nice little window spot. I'm going to show you a little later, but if you put some ceilings and stairwells and whatnot back here, you can make little gun points out of that or uh, various different things with your holes. And the railings, especially on S+, in S+, a railing can be switched to a half wall. That can make for uh, quite an exciting uh, build where you get a little bit more flexibility, you know, not everything's a full piece. And uh, that is, I'm a big S-plus fan, it's installed on all our servers. Um, we remove a few items because I'm in a really big tribe and there's certain things that we can't have. So there's like four different quick examples, real easily done. Let's try a couple other ones. What else can we do with what we got? Ah, okay, let's see if with the vanillas we can clip our wood right into that. It doesn't look like it, eh? That would, oh, there we go. All right, so now what we're doing with this wood here is it's really not giving us a big benefit on the security of our walls or anything, of course. And we've managed to snap that. We snap those woods uh, right inside it, right? And what that does for us is when it's time to paint, we can get a lot more color variety and kind of a neat little unique style that you don't see all the time. If you look right there in the middle, we have that wood in there. It's kind of cool, you know? And that's something I use once in a while. Uh, I've never seen how it would look with a bunch of railings like that. It should be interesting. Right, right on. I mean, look how that could come out there. That is neat looking. Let's try another wood one there. And, you know, you start getting into the complex builds with Arc. The mechanic for building, as many people will tell you, is a little bit weird. Um, so you're going to have some, again, big advantage to S+, plus is you're going to have some things that just don't work the way you want, and you're going to want to either demo them or pick them up. With S+, plus we can pick that up. But I'd like to get that other wood piece in just to get a look at this, because this is kind of getting me all excited here. Just, oh, we had it. There it is. Now look at that. That is a neat wall. If you build a wall like that, I don't think too many people would have that on the server. You know, that would probably be unique to you. Um, hopefully, <laughs> unless they watch this video. So there's a little idea on four, you know, four basic designs. You get the point, though. It's those fence foundations that give us that flexibility and give us that ability to make a, a little more style. So let's go take a quick look before we wrap it up inside my base, where we've got a couple of examples of those walls. Here you can see that it's not a very level ground. Um, it kind of goes up and down, so that's why I use those uh, railings, uh, making it look like bars. I painted them white. It kind of brings that orange out a bit, and then uh, I, I believe it's mud coloring on the gates out there. Uh, for another video later, this is glass, part of the S-plus thing. Makes us look like we can build really cool steel frames. We're going to take a look at that in the near future. Um, let's get up here a bit where we can see the walls. And I've got these painted white again. Brings out the flash a little. Take a look at that from the outside as well. I don't think we can get out this way, but we'll get over there. And we're in a bit of a mess here with all these uh, uh, egg farm type dinos. Now again, it is a it is a PvP server, so I do have you know flower turrets placed around at least to keep the riffraff out. But it's not I don't have hardcore heavy defenses like in metal and whatnot, right? So, but we do have, as you can see, some basic stuff just to keep those little thieves out. So here's an example of where I put those wood gate frames. There's an explorer note here, so I've made some room for people to come and pick that up without being shot. Uh, just because I'm a good guy. And we can see that we've put in some uh, some of those uh, wooden uh, gate frames and painted them white. Uh, just the uh, first time I tried that, I wanted to take a look at it. I do like it quite a bit, though. Move around to this side here. Here we've just got basic coverage. Um, probably use the S-plus large walls for this. Not quite sure. I'm going to go around just to look at the other side where I've actually built in some... Uh, I've built in some uh, some stairwells in the background here so that we can get to these these targets just before night comes in. Let's gamma up a little bit here. There we go. 
All right, so here's the other side of things, you know. Um, I unfortunately lost a couple ceilings here. As you can see, there's a trap, and I'm guessing that one of my tribe mates uh, wheeled somebody inside there and ended up, uh, you know, that trap ended up, it, it took a little beating. And that's why, even if you're in a PvE server, that wood uh, can sometimes cause you problems. So here we go. But we're on the other side of the wall. I put up some stairs, some ceilings, just to make it look a little bit better. Gives us some shooting ranges out here if we want, you know, little... The windows got a little ladder up here to my flower turrets. And yeah, so that's you see around. Quite a few different little builds. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys pick something up from this. And uh, you know, for those of you that play on my server, I know that when I started the server, I had built one uh, area for my tribe out of these gates. And as I tour around, I see a lot of people have taken the basic concept and turned it into something very exciting. So just by 